Hello, I'm, I'm Lucas. I'm one of the two uh, founders of Seed. We're here at the JEC World uh, 2023 uh, at our booth and um, we're showcasing different things here. Uh, as you may know, we're a, a techno technology supplier for large format 3D printers. And we, on one hand, focus on robotics and on the other hand, on extrusion of thermoplastic uh, composites. So, for example, behind me is our smallest uh, robotic system that we supply to the market and at the moment we're printing a PEI carbon fiber mold, a small one in collaboration with AirTech, the material supplier, and the Dutch uh, Space and Aerospace Institute called NLR. It's a very small, uh, small mold but it gives a good impression of what you can do with robotics in combination with, uh, with large format 3D printing. On the other hand we're also showcasing some already finished tools. So for example on the, here on the side we actually have a, uh, um, a mold for an, um, um, for an automotive application. So it's, um, uh, it's actually a car door panel. Uh, it was printed on the same robot actually and also the complete finishing steps were done with the robotic system as well. It's uh, printed in a 45 degree orientation and uh, the machining was done with this exact robot because the robotic system can swap to a, a milling spindle in one workflow, basically this finished mold could be, uh, could be obtained. So that's basically what, what we're about uh, uh, and what we do on a daily basis. But we also have some very exciting and new technology to showcase here uh, on the JEC. And that's our ATLAM technology. It stands for Advanced Tape Laying Additive Manufacturing. And it's a hybrid between large format 3D printing with thermoplastic composites, uh, basically with out of pellets and a, a tape placement uh, head to basically combine the strengths of both. On one hand, still building part relatively quickly, but on the other hand, introducing continuous fibers or cross plies to make the parts stronger, stiffer, and to reduce the CTE, for example, in longer and larger um, autoclave tooling uh, applications. All right, so here we are at the Atlam module. Um, basically what we've done is on one hand, we have a pellet extruder, uh, one of our uh, uh, range of four pellet extruders. This is the S25 system. And uh, there's actually the Atlam module attached to it. And basically what the system does is we have a coiling system of course or spooling system if you will where we uh, have the where we hold the thermoplastic composite tapes in this case a cross ply uh, tape PEI carbon fiber but can be other matrices and other fibers in there as well this is a Torre uh, fiber uh, which we used for the, the, the use case for which we developed this technology which was for Jiki and Aerospace to make longer autoclave tools with, uh, by reducing the CTE, by incorporating these, these fibers into it. So basically the result you get is a, a way of stacking both short fibers and continuous fibers in a process where in one go you de deposit both of the material streams. And you can see it in this part as well, that you have the different layers. It basically it looks like a typical large format 3D print but uh, you also have the, the continuous fibers, and you see that in the cross section as well. Here we are stacking on top of each other, but we can also uh, st uh, stack side, side to side, for example. So there are different ways of uh, basically doing layups with this hybrid, um, hybrid system for tape placement and for additive manufacturing. Um, another last thing that we're showcasing on the, on the booth today is an exciting project for a car that was produced by a student team in, uh, in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. And they printed both the uh, outside of the car with seat technology and the inside of the car, the monocoque if you will. It, it's not entirely a monocoque, it's actually made up out of four individual parts that are bonded together. But it's a nice step already for the technology to showcase what it can do. But it's actually not about the manufacturing technology. This car um, uh, actually cleans the air while it's driving, so it's not only an emission, an em a low emission vehicle because it works on, uh, on solar power, but it also cleans the air. So that's all that we're showing on the JEC uh, this year and um, it's, a, it's a great show so far.